Flow of Corruption. We want Spell Memory for sure. And then let's just go with um, Dealing Fizz Damage with Melee Weapons deals true and heals. That actually might be the one. That's pretty good. Yeah. Worry about this other stuff later. Nice. Alright. Let's get one. Hey guys, so post-production Ubi here doing a bit of a commentary over the gameplay. This gameplay took about five or so hours. Um, I got on a little bit later after the wipe and uh, as you're going to see, I ran into a couple issues. Things started off kind of nice and nice and easy for us, but things just went really downhill really quickly. But uh, here's one of our first fights we get into. We hear a guy. And just like that, down goes the fighter. This was the very first fight that I took. And this is the first bit of a uh, Dark and Darker I had played for... Probably almost two weeks, so I was pretty happy about that. Unfortunately, uh, that did not set a precedent for the rest of the fights. Now, I'm actually trying to VoIP this wizard, but I had muted myself in OBS, and it ended up making it so that I couldn't talk in-game. here I'm still trying to figure out if maybe my VoIP settings are messed up or whatever and uh, he kind of just takes off and it's a little unfortunate because I did want to fight the guy Here I find myself in this awkward situation where this guy's kind of teaming with me. I got you, run. <laughs> Giving me call outs and everything, you know, so. I'm a little bugged out. I don't want to team up, of course, uh, but I need to make sure that this guy does not keep pushing me. That was a really nice shot by that wizard, man. So I go on to clear these mobs and just to see if I can find a body. Sure as hell. There he is, that goblin mage, that nightmare goblin mage gets everyone, man. So we get out with some spoils and go on from here. Hello? Oh, wow. Okay. I muted myself in OBS, but I didn't realize that was actually muting my in-game mic. And uh, that's why I couldn't talk to that wizard. And so I did not mean for that guy to like team up. I was going to kill, I was going to kill that, 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 uh, the fighter. Like I was going to murder him. I just needed one or two hits, but then that guy was like, ah, you know? And so, yeah, he ended up dying, which is hilarious, but, and, uh, yeah, we just hop straight into the next one. The mission here Dude, is originally pressure. it was to, this, you know, luck? get some good loot, get in, get out, but Plans constantly change for me when I'm playing, especially when I'm playing as a warlock. Uh, I constantly just want to get into fights. So I see a perfect opportunity here. So 
so I can hear this guy just kind of pulling all these mobs. I'm trying to kind of figure out what he's doing, and I don't necessarily want to run straight behind all the mobs, because every time I do, they always flip their aggro to me. Here I go for the cutoff. Boom, blow of corruption to the head, down he goes. Clear out these mobs, and uh, yeah, check out what loot we got. I don't think he actually ended up having anything insane, but the PvP is really what keeps me going, you know? So you'll see me chase it pretty often. So, since I hear those bards in the distance, I uh, take my time to kind of set up here, get ready for the fight. Looks like he's just gonna run. Fine by me, he's back in the storm. Oh no, he wants... Next thing I know, there's a whole other bard here. <laughs> that range is actually kind of wild. Hmm. So here, I decide to back off just a little bit, just for a sec. I, I just want to make sure I don't get pinched between these two guys. It's in my best interest if they fight each other. Yeah, that wizard definitely took me by surprise. There's a lot of people still alive. Yes, there indeed are a lot of people still alive. And that um, is kind of a common theme that I've learned since I've played for, you know, the last five hours. A lot of people alive in the goblin caves. Just like that, another bard down. He has some goodies for us to pick up. All right, we can get the heck we, out of here uh, right now. Pretty much grab whatever Ooh. is the highest value, whatever's gonna get us the most gold, nice. and get on out. So this is the raid that basically starts that snowball. It's not really a snowball, it's more of like a mudslide. <laughs> um, things just go really downhill from here, and it all starts because I'm tempted to take on the centipedes underneath me since I spawned in this middle module. Centipedes in the early game are really, really good. What is this guy doing? So you're going to hear me debate with myself whether or not I want to actually jump down to fight the centipedes. And you'll hear me express that I'm kind of worried about getting third partied since there's so many people constantly alive. I really want to jump down, but I'm afraid that more people are going to come because the modules are just so small now, you know? And I decide I want the loot. <laughs>
Dude, there was a cleric coming, so I had to stop fighting this idiot. There was a cleric. See? We were getting third party, so I wanted to immediately back out, but this guy just kept chasing me. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I knew. I knew that was going to happen. We should have never died there. Oh, yeah. That, that was super frustrating because I had it all worked out in my head that that was the worst thing that could have happened, and it ended up happening. <laughs> Not only did we get countered, while they had the height advantage, another person third party the third party, and it's just, you know, so, unfortunate. Oh, dude, yes, go get him. So right after this kill, I do a little bit of clearing and uh, I actually get hit by a skeleton and it gets me pretty weak here. And I hear some rumblings next to me. I know that I do not have a health advantage, so. I'm just trying to get a little bit of space, let my potion do some work, get this bandage off. about what what is this what the hell what is that why did he literally not take any damage what the hell that was a headshot boc by the way i hit him three times bro you sure did ubi well, that's kind of silly i mean he was gigum like geared in comparison to me but like still what the hell um all right Maybe he hit me first and it didn't reg. There's another guy here, man. This next raid, nothing eventful happens up until this very end circle. We can talk about this, brother. fuck is happening dude are you kidding me full health block the blow of corruption and then like i i guess dude what yeah and from this point on things just got worse and worse so i went ahead and condensed like my next several raids into a short little montage just to kind of show you how they went oh my god Bad. Even the skellies were digging me down, dude. Alright, dude. What the fuck, man? Dude! Dude, I... But I did stay a bit relentless and I kept going back at it and eventually I managed to put some gear together, get some good raids in, and yeah, I got this nice little clip, this little gem Ranger? for you. Hopefully you enjoy this. Ranger and a fighter try to kill me. Oh, they're teaming on you, brother. Hey, I got you, baby. If they're teaming on you, I got you. I'm a warlock. I got Fire you. Watch out for the fighter behind me. I, he, he backed off. He backed off. Is it... Is it two people? I thought you said it was two people. There was. There was a rogue, too, who was trying to kill me. I killed the rogue. Oh, you got... Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. I don't 
I don't really want a team, man. You go ahead. You go ahead. Fight your 1B. Fight your 1B, baby. Fight your 1B, dog. All right. I'll definitely go push this guy, though. G That was all it took, brother. <laughs> I had it low. Good shit, good shit. Oh, what the? Oh, there's so many people. They might be teaming, baby. They might be teaming. Oh, I'm good. There's a warlock over here. There's, there's also a guy on you, so be careful. his ass it's what i do baby it's what i do baby top four warlock solos look me up baby I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see what's up with this dude, man. Where you at, baby girl? Oh my god! What was your name? Oh shit! <laughs> no! He died, I think. Oh my god, trap daddy! The loot's all you, baby. <laughs> as soon as I gave up that high ground, I knew I messed up. No, dude. So many bodies, bro. <laughs> Go on, trap. He's going to be like, oh my God, they're both dead. Look. <laughs> I wish I could see, like, what kind of loot they had, you know? Can I? Nah. Oh, dude. We did it up on that last one, though. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> so that one really got me back into the spirits of things, you know? I. That's a lot better after having that little interaction and get into that like 1v1v1 and uh yeah i went ahead and put together a nice kit after i hit level 15 just to kind of go out there and uh inflict a little bit of pain on people uh unfortunately i didn't find nearly as many people as i would have liked to but we have one guy here and so we're just running our regular hydra drain build now this guy has no idea what's about to happen to him. I mean, he's too slow. He's eating all the fire. He's dead. Yeah, that's all it takes. God, I love it. I love it so much. Those first 15 levels, though, were absolutely brutal, you guys. Absolutely brutal. I go ahead and clear out these boxes, but I'm gonna skip past this stuff for you. Go down to the troll just to see what's up. And uh we find a little something going on here. Dude, I had no idea where this rogue came from. 
But when I had placed my Hydra and all that noise was going on when I was fighting the other Warlock, he had actually opened that door that I had closed. So that threw me off. And he had freaking Cutthroat. Mm, almost ruined my day. But so I go back, re uh, heal up and everything, and open up this portal. I see another guy across from me. And unfortunately, I realize I'm in an awkward position because he wants me to come chase him so he can come sneak the portal. And uh, I was trying to figure out ways that I could actually like cut him off and take the fight without him getting the portal. And <sighs> you'll see what happens. Yeah, unfortunate. I, I had a feeling he was gonna sneak that, but I knew there was still a rogue creeping around. I wanted to find him. Now that I know what he's running, I can uh, keep some distance. Boom. <laughs> you see his glowing hand? tough i might have been able to drop him right there if i didn't cast flame walker but from my angle i couldn't see that he was sitting on a portal opening it so unfortunate but guys that's gonna do it for the video that was the first like five hours or so of wipe um i'm gonna put out another video that's gonna go a little more in depth about my thoughts of the wipe and maybe some tips to help everybody get their start off to a better start than I have. Um, but please, if you enjoy the video and if you want to see more content, consider subscribing to the channel, uh, hitting the like button, and commenting down in the comment section. Let me know if uh, there's a class that you want to see me take up to level 15. I'm going to do all of them. So let me know which one you want to see. And uh, yeah. I guess whatever class down in the comments gets the most likes or whatever. I'll make a video for that one next. Um, but yeah, if you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.